Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, thanking you. Because of you, I have reached a number that I never thought that I would reach on YouTube. 500 subscribers! And I like to think pretty much 500, you know, Yarny and YouTube friends because you guys have been a lot of fun and have brought me so much joy um, since I've started this. So, like I promised, I'm doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. And, oh, lucky me, I did not forget my notes because I had to take notes because I forget everything. Okay, the usual disclaimer to start things off. The full description of rules and blah, blah, blah will be in the description below. YouTube is not responsible or part of this giveaway in any way, shape, or form. It's just me. Okay, I'm going to pay to ship this uh, anywhere around the world that will accept shipments and gifts from the United States. If there's currently a ban on shipping to you, ugh that's gonna be a problem because I, I don't have a transporter and I can't get it there to you. I, however, will pay to ship, but you are responsible for any taxes or duties that may be incurred because of the giveaway. You know, the usual YouTube drill here. There are gonna be some instructions. They'll be in the description below too, but you will have to pay attention to the entire video to make sure you get all of the instructions. Now, as far as this uh, giveaway goes, and yes, I'll be showing you all the thing thingamabobs in the video, in the giveaway. You will leave one comment, only one comment, because when I use the YouTube random comment picker uh, to choose from the comments, we're going to eliminate all but one. So just leave one comment, please. And I will tell you what specific word you have to use in that comment later on. Now, of that specific word, don't highlight it. Don't put quotes around it. Don't, you know, capitalize it and make it stand out in any way. Let's just pay attention to the video, all right? Also, there's gonna be a couple of extra little requirements to this giveaway, but you know, most of y'all are doing this anyway, so it's, I don't think it's gonna be any big chore. I would like you to leave a comment on any of my community posts. Now, since I just got my community tab, there aren't that many there, so if you could pop over there and make sure that you leave a comment on one of those, or all of those, you know, wouldn't hurt my feelings, and besides that, it's kind of fun. Also, leave a comment on any other video that I've got. Considering I've been doing Vlogtober, you got a lot of videos to choose from, not only from this month, but I've been doing this since uh, February, I think. So yeah, just leave a comment someplace else because I want to reward my subscribers who are interacting and watching the videos. Speaking of subscribers, you must be subscribed and you must be subscribed publicly, which means I have to be able to look at your channel and see who you're subscribed to. Um, a lot of people have got little tutorials and little how-tos on how to make sure that your subscriptions show public. And I'll try to link one or, or more of those in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know ahead of time. You can send me a message, you know, within your comment or whatever. And I'll be happy to make sure that you are a public subscriber. Okay. Subscriber must be public. Okay. As far as dates go, this will be starting on the 20. Fourth, which is today, the day that I'm recording it, and it's kind of late in the day, but it's not going to be a you know a quickie picky over uh, contest. This is going to end on the seventh of November, which is a Sunday. That is two weeks from today, and it will, I'm going to have this end at two o'clock Eastern. That's in the afternoon because I will draw the winner later and then post the winning video after that later on in the day on Sunday. So that's just kind of fair. It gives everybody a chance to get on in there now. You'll want to know, one, you want to know what word you're going to have to use, and that'll be coming up later. But two, you want to know what's in the giveaway, right? I'm not even going to start with the yarn, okay? I'm going to start with some of the little goodies and giveaways here, the little goodie putties here. There's going to be extras besides yarn. This is a very cute little Universe pendant from Universe.com, and that is you. Universe that is just super cute. I'm putting them down here in the ball of my cube so I don't get things messed up. Uh, one hair scrunchie made by me, not used, but it is gray sparkle, silver sparkle yarn, and it will fold up and it's got a scrunchie doohickey in there, so any kind of hair can be used in that. Post-its. A little cube of post-its because those are handy. And to go with the post-its, mechanical pencils. 
I like writing in pencil, especially mechanical pencils because you don't have to worry about sharpening them. And this actually comes with refills and refills on the erasers too. Okay, to go along with those two papery type things. One, just a composition notebook fully lined so that you can write down any of the ideas you have. And this is a really cool cover on it. And this is by uh, You Style Promise, Plant the Planet. For every You Style item you buy, we'll donate to One Tree Planted to promote reforestation of trees around the globe. So that is something that comes along with that. This does not have that fancy pedigree, but it is colorful and splashy and it's for sketches. It is unlined paper. So you can draw out those patterns that uh, you got roaming around in your head or you can just doodle. Doodling is good. Also in the sort of office -y supply vein, I really dug these magnets. These are just magnets you can use on your fridge, you can use on your metal cart uh, that you have for a whip caddy like I do, but they're just really cool kind of glass looking magnets. I liked them, so I thought you would like them too. And for the more yarn adjacent items, Fabric Fusion. If you have ends, if you're using like a chenille type yarn or any kind of yarn that may just start floofing away after you've cut it, put a dab of this on the end and let it dry. It's not going anywhere. Good stuff. And you could wash it too. Also, a little shawl pin that you can zhuzh up in any way, shape or form that you like. And a quote, fancy button. I thought it was really pretty. It's It's got that blue lacquer look to it and like a wood look on the sides and just kind of fancy if you want to have a button on the fancy shawl that you're probably going to make or that you probably already do make because buttons are cool. Also, I did win this from Natalie's Closet, but you can see it's not going on my big old monster hands. It's beautiful. I do love it. And that's why I want to share it. I don't want it to just sit on a shelf and be like all lonely and never be used. My hands are just too big for it, but hopefully you'll be able to wear it and love it. Or you know somebody who will be able to, but isn't that gorgeous? I just thought it was so pretty and I don't want to see it just sit on a shelf. Oh, and one more sort of yarn adjacent thing. You ever need that little pair of scissors just to snip things? There you go. It fits in this little tube and you can actually travel with these because they're so small if you do any traveling. I don't go anywhere, but at least these are compact and will fit in your notions bag nicely. All right, enough of that stuff. You want to see yarn, right? Okay, what I'm going to do, my big old butterfly bag, which will also be going with the giveaway. It'll be folded up and stuff in the box, but you know, it's from Marshalls. I bought it at Marshalls, but I just thought it was super pretty and colorful. And who doesn't love super pretty and colorful? I have got, oh my goodness, a bunch of yarn up in here. Let me go through it and I'm going to drop it into that bag down there. That's pretty much the only way I can do this here. Some of the, all of this yarn was purchased by me in one way, shape or form. Okay. Some of it was purchased at retail stores. Some of it was purchased at Goodwill like this. This is actually really beautiful. It's called soft linen. It is Reynolds Soft Linen Hand Wash and Cool Water Mild Soap Roll-In Towel to Remove the Blah 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 and Dry Flat. Usual washing instructions. And where was that content? 53% flax, 47% acrylic. And it does not say on here how much is in here. Oh, you gotta love it when they do that to you. The original price tag is on here though, and it was $6.20 for a ball. It looks like an old price tag, so this has been around for a minute. But uh, yeah, four of those. And I'm sure you could make something beautiful out of linen in those. Disappearing and I'm back. Okay. Remember me doing an unboxing the other day and these cute little bonbons were in there. I'm gonna share the cuteness with you. These are adorable little things. They're two weight yarn. Uh, it's a total of 80 grams. There's not a lot of yardage on there, but it shows on here making bracelets and stuff. So if you can work with that small yarn, great. If not, make little pom-poms out of them or tassels because they are beautiful and colorful. I really liked it, but I thought it would be good in this giveaway box to thank you. Okay, there is more, but wait, there's more. 
You know I was going to say it. I had to at some point. Oh, gosh, it's going to fall. Oh, dear. Okay. Two kind of strung out here uh, balls of wool ease thick and quick in the color blue J. this is a six super bulky it is 80 percent acrylic 20 percent wool you can feel the wool in it but it's not like super scratchy or anything it's totally garmentable i have made hats from this they make a nice big thick delicious warm hat if you want to do that and two balls will definitely make a hat and probably then some um this is 140 grams which is 80 meters on each one. 160 meters of Super Bulky 6 will definitely make you a good chunky hat. And I have got two skeins of Stargaze in the Red Heart Huga Charm. Higgy Huga, I was told uh, by Joe on Garden State Gardener that H-Y-G-G-E is Huga. I, I don't want to say it like he does, but it's Huga. Two sparkly balls of that. I don't know if you can see that sparkle on camera, but it's really super pretty. This is sort of an off-white, snowy, sparkly color. And it's a medium four. Oh, what does it say on there? Machine wash, cold, gentle, tumble dry, low. It's 97% acrylic and 3% other fibers. Whatever that magical sparkle comes from, there's your 3%. Too dim. Okay, and there is a little bit more in here. And you know what? With whatever box I choose, if there's more room, more things will get shoved in there. You know that. So don't panic. We got two balls of Just Yarn Tweed. Look at the color of that. That is a pretty gray. This one is called Denim Tweed. It looks like gray. It's got a little bit of a blue tint to it. I would call that more of a blue-gray tweed. But there you go. Two balls of that. Each one of these is uh, 55 grams, 110 meters, and it's a number four. It is a pretty standard number four. It's actually nice yarn to work with. The Just Yarn stuff, it's um, premium. It's premier. Premium. Derp. It's premier yarn. Y'all know premier yarn is pretty good, so yeah. I don't care that they sell it at Dollar Tree. It's good stuff. I thought I had three of those in here. Gonna drop one. Well, there might end up being three in the big bag, but I don't see it in here. And I got three of these. Here's more of that Just Yarn Tweed. This is in the color Charcoal Tweed. Three of those, same specs as the bluey gray one, only it's Charcoal Tweed. Is that all that's in this bag? Okay. That is all that is in this bag that I was kind of tossing things in for the giveaway. And like I said, there's likely to be more in there, depending on the box I put it in, because I can squish some yarn in a box. So it should be a good one. Now, what word? Hmm, that's a good question. What word should I use? I think the word... I'm going to pause it for a second. Sorry for the jump there, but I had to pause to get my boy. This is my teeny boy, Oscar. I want to see the word teeny in your comment. T-E-E-N-Y. Teeny. Boop. <laughs> and remember, do not highlight it or anything in any way. Just work it into your comment. It'll be kind of fun to see all those comments. Those are always good. He's annoyed. I woke him up from a nap. Like I usually do whenever you see him on video. He had a nap because he was a good boy. Yeah. It's like having a toddler forever but at least it's a toddler you can leave at home alone <laughs> try leaving a regular toddler home alone I, I don't suggest it for the safety of your house or for the toddler i'm just saying this one no he's pretty good oh oh he's grabbing me with those knuckles my teeny boy is 18 pounds in case you didn't know his name is oscar and oh he's getting bitey hey hey He's upset that I picked him up and disturbed him. So now he can get down. Ooh, gave me a good chomp. Must have thought I was dinner. Yikes. To recap the very easy rules. Sponsored by me, not YouTube. Okay. Rules in the description below. 
leave a comment random comment picker will be picking a comment within that comment you must use the word that i gave you and you must have already left a comment on one community post at least not just one you know you can comment on all of them just saying i gotta see you on a comment there somewhere and also on another video of mine somewhere along the line there's plenty to choose from and also I've got to be able to tell that you're subscribed. This is for my subscribers. That has just tickled me as I've seen the numbers go up over 500. I was doing a happy dance. I was like literally jumping up and, up and down, which is not safe for me or for the ground around me, okay? But I was doing it anyway. I feel happy dance. Okay, we'll stop that. But anyway, thank you for coming by. Thank you for entering. Leave your comment down below and uh, good luck, everyone. Good luck.